and today I am going to be teaching you how to draw a cat. So the materials you will need is first off, of course, a material to draw on. I'm using paper, but you can use a whiteboard on line drawing or other things to draw on. You also need a material to sketch with. I highly re recommend pencil so you can erase later on, but it's totally up to you. You also need a m material to draw with to draw darker on your sketch. You can use anything here, including your pencil too, which I will be doing. Now, you may also need an eraser. I have an eraser on the back of the pencil. Lastly, you will need something to color with. I strongly prefer colored pencils, but you can use markers, crayons, or anything really. So here's my colored pencils. Just so you know, I will be drawing nine different cats, just so that you can see the different types of cats you can draw. So, Right now, I'm just going to be drawing nine different sections. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so you can see all the different types, like I said. So step one is lightly sketch a long oval into the middle of the paper. Make sure this is the size of the head you want. Okay, step two, lightly sketch this long ovalish shape you see me drawing. This will be the body of the cat. Now, of course, you can make it much fatter or more skinny if you wish. So what you are going to want to do next is lightly sketch two ears on top of the head. You can add fur tufts on the top and in the, the middle if you have pointed ears like this, as you can see me doing. Or you can have none at all. It's totally up to you. Now, you can also have ears that are super flat on the head, like this. Or, ears that are kind of flat like this. Or just any, any ear in general. So, the next step is you're going to want to sketch two ovals at the bottom of your cap. These will be your feet. And I recommend adding these little lines here to mark where the legs are. Now you can lightly sketch two ovals on either side of the base of your cat, like this, but you don't have to do this. This is just an extra detail. And make sure to add two or three slots on each, on each foot, like this, just for where the claws come out. Or you can have the claws coming out. Next, you are going to want to add a tail to your cat. So you can make it in any position and you can make it as long as you want. Really long or really short. Now you are going to want to sketch a triangle in the middle of your head. This will be the nose. You can also add a more complex nose that looks a little something like this. Draw two lines from the nose like this. You can make them a little more curly if you want and this will be your muscle. You can add little whisker pads like this and a little oval hat semicircle shape right here. It can be either the bottom of your muzzle or it can be a little tongue. All right, so what you are going to want to do next is draw two circles for the eyes right here. Now you can have the pupils in any position, but I just like to have them in a general kind of cross-eyed position. Now you can add irises here if you want, like this for the color, or depending on your art style, you can color in the pupils. You are going to want to add some patterns. Now as you can see here, this will be kind of a stripe pattern and I will show you a whole bunch more 
just as soon as I finish the head of this one. All right, you can add accessories now. You can add hats, sweatshirts, costumes, and more. Now this last step, before you add color, you need to trace over everything and make it darker. Alright, for this last step, you are going to want to add color. Now, for me personally, this is my favorite part, and I've got a lot of colors, and I mean a lot of colors. So, I'm going to get to it. There you guys go, you, you have officially drawn a cat. I hope you all enjoyed, bye.